Hi, I'm Jamie Tobler, and we're in the heart of Central America, in the beautiful country of Costa Rica, where God is doing some amazing things, some mighty things, and where I am proud to be a part of what He's doing here. In the next few minutes, I want to invite you to join us as we go behind the scenes in the making of a mission trip. Our journey begins early in the morning as we head out to the airport. I'm joined by our producer and videographer, Paolo Simoes. During our 30 minute drive to RDU, we exchanged final details on our documentary and trip schedule. We also prayed and asked God to lead us and give us favor with weather, safety, and direction. But there was a lot of excitement and expectation on our part, trusting that God would lead us every step of the way. Costa Rica, which in Spanish literally means rich coast, is a country located in the heart of Central America, with a population of four and a half million people of whom nearly a quarter live in the capital city of San Jose. We began our mission work in this country in 2007 at a time when churches were being shut down because of government restrictions and new building codes. Through our partnership, we saw the hand of God touching the lives of so many people. We help churches not only survive those difficult years, but also multiply and grow. We built a church in a squatter's camp. We saw the blind literally see again, alcoholics delivered, and thousands of people made decisions for Christ, many of whom are still being discipled by the six churches we have worked with in the past eight years. And our goal during this trip is to identify and partner with a local pastor who could use our help to grow, evangelize, build a long-lasting church. After a short layover and a five-hour flight from Atlanta, we finally arrive in San Jose, where we're received by our good friend Carlos Sanchez, a Cuban-American missionary who has lived in Costa Rica for nearly 30 years. The Sanchez's ministry, the Cave of Abdulam, connects local pastors with foreign groups that want to come and minister and do missionary work in Costa Rica. A 30 minute drive up into the gorgeous mountains takes us to the Sanchez's home. There, we had a chance to visit with his family, shared stories of past mission trips, and saw some of the construction work we had done. What touched us the most was to hear from them how our work helped and impacted the lives of so many people throughout the years. The activity center we helped build in 2010 still shows some of our team members signed names on a storage closet door of that building. The Sanchez's have kept this untouched as a sign of display of their gratitude. Later that night, after we shared a home-cooked meal, we talked about the purpose of our visit. During our conversation, Carlos told us about a young pastor named Carlitos in the Siquieres region, some three hours southeast from San Jose. We met Carlitos probably around 16 years ago. and, uh, and he was, uh, Pastor Carlitos is passionate about the people in the region and is doing great work. He currently has two churches, but there is still a lot of need. He could potentially be the partner we're looking for. But it's, it's very simple, uh, pretty close, primitive, and, but they make the best out of what they got. And God has just raised this guy up and his wife, and, uh, and they're, really, they're really taking it on over there. Unfortunately, Telephone communication is sometimes unreliable in Costa Rica, and Carlos couldn't confirm or schedule a visit with Pastor Carlitos. So the plan was to leave early the next morning, drive three hours across the Kirby Mountains, and head east, where we hope to find and meet the young pastor. That night, we went to bed believing God was directing our steps.